Once upon a time, Amadeus the wizard was waking up in a cottage high up in the mountains. He was far, far away from home, attending a wizarding conference with his fellow wizards. And that morning, he decided a trip to the mailbox was in order. Even if this box was located at a very inconvenient distance. Time to find that mailbox. Nippy in here. Time to throw some snowballs. Timber. Walking all alone in the wild outdoors like this makes me miss my old adventures, but not so much all the near-death experiences. My trustworthy box magic gets me up when feeling down.
Oh, poor goat. I really should have sent this postcard earlier to Margaret and the children. And why isn't this nearest mailbox located any closer to civilization? Oh no, last night's avalanche laid waste to the bridge. Now how am I going to get to the mailbox? What an amazing goat! Thank you! For a moment there, I was sure he was going to ram me. Wait, I'm telling this all wrong. This is not what actually happened.
letter for me? Dear Amadeus the Wizard, we, we require, require you, you for, a for a mission of the, of the utmost, utmost urgency. urgency. You must find the missing Prince Celius, a ward of the Astral Academy. He has vanished under mysterious and troublesome circumstances. Me? Too unpredictable to learn spellcraft? I am going to learn magic. The second of our enchanted heroes was Pontius the Knight. Just before the quest was about to begin, Pontius was out and about with his duties. And to that end, he was headed towards the Cursed Manor. The derelict manor had once belonged to a recently departed knight. After his funeral, the knight had returned from the grave, undead and bitterly wrathful and troubling to his neighbors. But Pontius had come to take care of the matter, armed with a sword, a shield, and the hope that there would be pie after his task was over. Shame about the house. This must have been a snug little place back in the day, with tended fields full of everything good you'd want to eat in a pie. <laughs> It's a haunted old manor, but I cleverly chose to come here at noon. Cursed undead knights don't look so scary in the daylight. Thank you. 
How a good knight can turn into such a miserable villain, that I'll never understand. There's little you understand, fellow knight. But I was once much like you. What a strange dead fellow. Wounded in combat, I became useless. I was discharged from service. I became an embarrassment to other knights. In the end, I was abandoned by my friends, by my servants, left alone to rot here in this backwards house. That's no excuse for your evil doing. Cool. Then come, let us do battle. Letter addressed to Sir Pontius. Well, I'll be. That's me! Good Sir Pontius the Knight, hero of Trine. We have an unfortunate case of a missing prince, but we trust with your extraordinary skills, you'll find him swiftly. Within a dream, you summon your shadow. Beside this spell and watch it grow. Prince Celius has some talent for magic, but some time ago he was involved in an accident using his powers. <gasps> so he is to be treated firmly, but gently. Our last hero was Zoya. Like Amadeus and Pontius, she was also enchanted with the mystical powers of Trine. Fate and fortune had brought her to a city overrun by merry revelry, but cheerful festivities were the last thing on Zoya's mind. As the quest was about to begin, 
Zoya had been up all night, doing things becoming to her secretive nature. Perhaps not all of those things she was up to were appropriate for a hero. While the whole city was busy celebrating, Zoya was sneaking about with mischievous intent. An entirely honest entrepreneur would perhaps have chosen a door for their exit. There were so many paintings up there, it'll take them weeks to even notice one of them is gone. Wait, what am I doing talking to myself? Already late for the masquerade. Isn't it supposed to last all night? Unlike the merry revelers, Zoya wasn't interested in the festival of masks. She had an engagement of another sort.
Now to find the doorbell. A pleasure. In exchange for the stolen painting, Zoya received a purse full of gold. Unexpectedly, however, the thief found her conscience weighing upon her. It was just a painting. Maybe the masquerade can cheer me up. While she was on her way to the masquerade, Zoya happened upon a place that brought back memories. The town's orphanage. At least no one's around to see this new low. Dear Zoya, prestigious hero, savior of the kingdom, we need you to bring Prince Celius back to the care of the Astral Academy. As long as he's out there alone, the prince is in certain danger. Oh, shadows. Oh, it was just a nightmare. of your success, Wilhelmina, Wizardess of the Astral Academy and representative of the Grand Council. The many letters sent by the Master Wizardess directed our three heroes to a rocky and wind-beaten heath. There they were to search for Celius, the mysteriously vanished prince. <laughs> 